Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a clutch clamp using the software KTIA V5 and uh, this is uh, being requested by one of my subscribers and uh, what you can see on the right side of the screen is the end result of the design and uh, this is the fourth part of the tutorial and I highly recommend the people who are beginners to go back to the first part of the tutorial if you haven't watched and come from there so now we got to design this particular portion here so what you can see is uh, a solid uh, you know a rectangular and a circular object here so we're gonna create that but from the side you can see that it's a hollow here so this kind of uh, you know structures can be easily created by creating the solid first and then removing whatever is not required there so select the top plane so in this whole design we have uh, used the top plane and finally we're going to use the uh, front plane too so i'm going to show you that use the circle two circles there them tangential make them coincident and select this line and give the mirror option and then trim out remaining stuff and finally close this and now give the dimensions okay so the diameter here is 16 and this cannot be constrained it will get over constrained because it's actually being driven by this portion here this uh, coincidence over here now if you don't know what kind of uh, constraining is remaining to be done in this case I know which is remaining but if at all you get stuck up in that situation you can always take the arrow key and just try to move around and you'll find that uh, this is not really dimension here so select the dimensioning option and give 32 that's it let's come out of the sketch okay it's not it just select the portion delete it the sketch and do padding for this and the padding must be 70 that is 35 on both sides okay we got that and now we need to remove this uh, rectangular portion here so for removing such portions like the front view and uh, let me just explain about that in the next part of the tutorial and uh, I hope uh, this this part is uh, pretty much clear for you and if you have any doubts you can comment on the video and I'll be getting back to you as soon as I find time and uh, feel free to write to me at Ketia or product user for any queries and any project related issues and uh, I'll be getting in touch with you I'll be getting in touch with you I'm sorry and that's all thank you for watching and stay tuned guys